Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Avria Perry. Welcome back, welcome to. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I wanted to come and just chat with you all a little bit about college and freshman year and how I personally survived my first week of college. I'm not saying that these are the best tips in the entire world and the only tips, but these are things that really, really helped me to get through my freshman year of college and I just really, really wanted to share them with you all. So if you're interested in seeing how I survived my freshman um, first week of freshman year, keep watching. Freshman year is freaking petrifying. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how calm, cool, and collected you are because I consider myself to be a pretty together person. I was absolutely petrified. I started in early August, so while a lot of my friends were still at home, still chilling with their families, still chilling with each other, I was already at school. So that freaked me out even more. So I didn't see my parents from early August until Thanksgiving time. So my first tip to all of you would be cry. Cry. Cry from the jump cry straight out the block do not hold on to it do not try to be all big and bad and tough when it's your last time giving your parents a hug and they're about to get in the car and dip cry cry with them cry to your mom cry to your dad whatever you need to do cry to your grandma whoever is dropping you off my dad is the homie that's my best friend Oh my God, my, I'm really cool with my mom too. Love my mom, really close to my mom. My dad is my homie. I snotted up his entire shirt. Like the only thing that I didn't do was hang on to his leg and be like, don't go, like don't go, I need you. I cried my behind off. But I promise you, I was the better for it because there were kids in my dorm, in my hall who did not cry they tried to hang on and I kid you not, they had little like mini breakdown spaz attack type things at the absolute worst time. So cry on the front end so that you can be fine on the back end. Just cry, let it out, and I promise you a few minutes later, somebody is gonna come by your dorm and they're gonna be like, hey, wanna go do this, wanna go do that, blah, 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 blah. And you're just, you're gonna be fine. I promise you, you're gonna be fine. Cry now so you can have fun later. Just get it over with because if you don't, you're gonna have a little mini breakdown type thing in the middle of some corny icebreaker that they have you play in at orientation and you just don't need that. So cry, just do it, let it happen, let it out and you will feel so much better. I promise. So my second rule, this is very, very important in my opinion, is to get to know your roommates and set rules. Set rules from the jump. So I lived in a suite freshman year. It was my roommate and I in a room, and then we shared a bathroom with two other girls. So their room was connected to our room through the bathroom. And I got blessed with really, really good roommates and suite mates, and we all lived together very, very well. And from the jump, we set out rules. We told each other what we didn't like. We told each other what we did like. Um, and we just kind of had a general conversation. It wasn't super serious, like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, don't touch this, don't touch that. Like, it was not mean in any way, shape, or form. It was really just a necessity. It's a necessity. You're going to live with these people. You're going to be with them for a long period of time, hopefully, if you all live well together. Um, you're going to be with them for a year. So you don't want to not say things from the jump. And then when they do things that irk you or that piss you off, it be like, well, you never told me. So tell them from the jump. They'll tell you, you tell them that way when they do it or if they do it, hopefully they don't, but if they do, you can be like, well, girl, I told you I didn't like this and you did this and I told you and you knew, which means it was deliberate or you consciously did that knowing that I didn't really like it. Set your rules, tell your roommates what you like, what you don't like so that you all can just be smooth sailing and just have a good year. Like I said, I got blessed with good roommates. I know that there are some bad roommate situations, but at least if 
from the jump you all can tell each other what you don't like and what you do like maybe you can live a little bit better together i know some people who weren't necessarily best friends or weren't cool with their roommates at all but they could live together they live together fine nobody's saying you have to be best friends with your roommate that's an absolute bonus but if you all can live together and you can respect each other that's really all you need that's really all you need because you can make friends there are thousands of other people to make friends with it will happen i promise you i so my third tip would be do not stress this is how you're going to survive your freshman year and I, your freshman year like in general but specifically the first week honestly i probably should have made this the first tip but let's just say that's an, this is the overarching theme for this whole video don't stress out don't stress out about anything whatever it is that is your main concern whatever it is that just gets you all wound up and tense and just nah like, <laughs> you ever just feel like that you just feel like nah like everything is just in your head it's just ugh. whatever it is that makes you feel like that don't stress out about it because I promise you a month from now that probably will not even be an issue anymore I promise you like 95% of the time it's probably not going to be an issue in a month because everyone is in the same position as you everyone in your grade are freshmen they're all freshmen, which means this is their first time in college. Unless they're transfer students, which there are sometimes transfer students mixed in there, but a lot of the time they have their own orientation and their own things kind of going on. Um, don't stress about the situation that you're in because everyone else is in the same position as you. And that's something that my dad was telling me over and over and over again the whole summer before, fresh, before freshman year. He was just like, this is new for everyone so don't feel like you're alone or like people are somehow a step ahead of you i was absolutely petrified i was freaked out i was just like bruh they're trying to get me to play games and stuff like all these corny games of what's your name and name a fruit that begins with the same letter as your name like what like what the things that you're worried about you, you shouldn't be, I promise you. If you want to comment some things that you're worried about below this video, I will respond to them. And I promise you, I was probably worried about them too. And I can now tell you that they're nothing. They're minuscule. And the big scheme of things and the grand scheme of things are not that big of a deal. What I always tell myself is five years from now, even we can even say a year from now, a year from now is what you're worried about going to still be something that you're worried about is it going to be a big deal is it going to drastically impact the grand scheme of your life and if it's not going to and you're not going to be worried about it or it's not going to be a factor a year from now don't be worried about it now trust me trust Bree. i got y'all I got you. I thought long and hard about these tips. Next tip would be to get familiar with your campus. The tours that you're going to go on, that they're going to take you on in your orientation group are not like the tours that they brought you on to get you to want to come to the school. When you go on tours, when they're trying to get you to come to the school, those tours are to get you to come to the school. So they show you all of the great things that made you want to come there now the tour that you're going on is going to be that plus the practical stuff so stuff like where to load money onto your laundry card or where student accounts is pay attention pay attention I don't care how cute homeboy is who's walking next to you I don't care how funny sis is behind you pay attention to this tour it will save you so much stress so along with this tip go on another mini tour with your roommates or with whoever you became cool with all of y'all print out your schedule walk around the campus with your schedule and find the buildings where your classes are and if you can go into the buildings 
go and find the actual classroom. On the first day of class, it'll make your life so, so, so much easier. Because like I said, you're already nervous, you're already wound up, all of this is new. We are all about diminishing stress, making this first week as least stressful as possible. I want you all to get out of your first week of college and your freshman year as a whole with as few bumps and bruises as possible. Tip number five, initiate conversation. Talk to anyone and everyone. But if you are someone who is a little bit more shy or you don't really like talking to people, um, Maybe if you're with your roommates or whatever, you all talk to that person or say hi to a person or give a person a compliment. I know for girls, this is like our go-to. This is our go-to for initiating conversation. Girl, your highlight is popping or like sis, that shirt, those edges. So you hype each other up and then all of a sudden, you have a best friend. And I promise you, if you're a guy watching this, it really is that simple. That's how girls make friends. That's how we make friends. I make friends in the bathroom. Girls make friends in the bathroom. Don't just pick one little group and stick in that group. Talk to different kinds of people. And if you do, if you like the group that you met, but you want to talk to other people and you don't want to leave that group, maybe all of you talk to um, more people and you'll all be meeting people. And before you know it, you know all of these people and you know what's going on. That's honestly how it happens you meet these people you get each other snapchats whatever um you're looking at your phone and you're like oh shoot they're over there doing this or party here whatever and before you know what you have a pop in freshman year because you started these conversations with all these people the first week of school and now you know what's up now you're the plug now you got everybody on snapchat and instagram and you can always find the moves so I, that's honestly how it is. That's honestly, honestly, honestly how it is. So don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone a little bit if you are a shy person because it will repay you in spades. And last, but not least, have fun. Just let the stress go. Remember that all of this is a learning experience. Don't get stressed out. Just enjoy yourself. Don't enjoy yourself too much. You gotta find that balance. And I can make a video on that too if you guys want between work and play because I had a great freshman year but I also kept my grades up and it matters. They matter. Do not let. Pause. Listen to me very, very very closely. Are you listening? Are you listening? Whoever's talking around you, tell them they need to stop talking. Listen to me. Your freshman grades matter. Okay? They matter. I'm not saying they're everything. I'm not saying they're everything. They're not going to make or break your entire college career. But they matter. Failing multiple classes freshman year matters. That means that's more classes you have to squeeze in. Freshman classes matter. Do your work, but have fun. I feel like I just had a real mom moment. But I'm telling you guys, because I have friends and I have people who I know who fooled around all freshman year and now they're screwed. And I would be doing you all a disservice if I didn't tell you all that freshman grades matter. So, so have fun, but don't have fun at the expense of your grades because at the end of the day, you are in college to get an education yeah. and I would be lying to y'all if I told you I didn't have a few breakdowns spaz attacks moment but I made it I survived my first week and then I survived my first month and then I survived my first year and before I knew it it was over and now I'm getting ready to go back to school for my sophomore year and I'm gonna use these tips again I'm gonna miss my family when they drop me off again 
I'm probably gonna meet some new people. I'm gonna keep initiating conversations. I'm gonna initiate conversations with freshmen. So, hey, who knows, who knows, who knows? But I hope these tips helped you all. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at I am Bree Perry. Until next time, I will see you all later.